caused a storm among teenage fans, and now they get the chance to put their side of the case. This programme's allegations of paedophile activity on the Habbo internet site led to the game being muted and a mass protest on the site. Were we wrong? It's a virtual world where children create avatars and talk to people all over the world. But we found it also to be full of explicit sexual content. Our producer, Rachel Seifert, played on the game for two months and was propositioned to perform sexual acts. Initially, do you have a webcam? Are you on MSN? Are you on Skype? I was being asked to strip, to get fully naked. What would I do on a webcam? Would I send photos of myself over email? In the last six months, two paedophiles have been convicted of getting over 80 children that they met on Habbo to perform sex acts on webcams. We showed our evidence to John Carr, one of the leading experts on children's online safety. If I was the parent of an 11-year-old girl on a chat room like this, I'd want there to be a moral panic. What I've just seen makes me think this is a dangerous place for youngsters to be. In response to our report, Sulaki, the company that runs Habbo, muted the site and has since thanked us for a wake-up call to this poorly regulated industry. Well, tonight, Habbo Hotel remains silent, but the children themselves are very far from quiet. Young users have let us know very directly that we've ruined their fun, so we thought we'd invite them to make their case. Earlier, I was joined by four Habbos, as they are known. How long have you been on Habbo, Amber? Um, I've been on Habbo for about three to four years now, and I played a bit before that, but I didn't really play it compulsively. And how old are you now? I'm 18. 18. So a third of your life you've spent on there, nearly. Yeah. And what about you, Josie? I'm playing it since 2007, when I was 11, and I was past the age limit. But, um, and so that's now four years, coming up to five. So you're 15? Yes. And Emily? Well, I'm 20 years old, and I've been playing it since I was 12. And um, I've even got the um, true 100% Habbo badge, XX badge, which is awarded to people who, who have been playing the site for more than 1,825 days. <laughs> Omar? <laughs> and I have been um, playing since 2000, well, I haven't been playing, but I made an account in 2007 and began to play more regularly from 2010. And how old are you? And I'm 17 years of age at the moment, so... Now, I want to read you one tweet here. Um, it's one of the more readable ones. Uh, you've just <laughs> ruined a day for more than two million people. How do you feel about that? Why do you think people are so angry? Um, I think people are angry because it has been the best part of, what, ten, eight, ten years that Habbo has been going on and within a week Channel 4 have managed to basically tear that down expose. and expose it and basically just take away everyone's place and just tear it down and divide it. But shouldn't we be blaming the company Sue Lake for not having a more moderated approach of young people? Shouldn't we be looking at the company that's behind it? Did you the know there was uh, sort of pedo activity on there? It's very obvious. Yes. It's yeah, very we're obvious. All aware. Yeah. All aware. All aware. Yeah. Everyone who goes on Habbo. Oh, I would like to add as well is that since I was 30, uh, since I first started using the site, it's been happening on a very large scale. Do you and mind? I did mind at first, but I obviously carried on using the website, so I got so used to it. After a while, you ignore it. After a while, it. you ignore it, get used to it. It shouldn't get used to something like that, but yeah, I got used to it. You, you From your experience, option. what sort of proportion of people on Habbo might be pedos? Well, I couldn't say for certain, but I spend time mostly in the popular rooms, and that's obviously where they would probably. Okay. Not all of them are pedos as well, a lot of them are children who are the same age as us. That's what I was about to yeah. Yeah. Just yeah. 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 The inappropriate users. Young people being sexualised, I think, is, is a very big part of this. Yeah. And, and yeah. whether it's right to have two young people, even of the same age, engaging over an avatar. You know, but what I can answer your question with is sometimes I would humour them if I had friends over and say, hey, come and have a look at this. If I was to, as a girl, who's, I am a girl and obviously on the site, would say, would anybody like to go on cam with me? 20 friend requests, at least, 15 to 20 friend requests, immediately from... But they, they might not, as you say, be pedos. They might just be other youngsters trying to sort going themselves to, out. I, I, if I have accepted them many times and they come up on my um, instant messenger, um, do you want to have online sex? Do you well, want to show your... You yeah. can have 11 year old This is the thing. You can have 11-year-old ch children going on and being propagated for sex within the first minute you've been on the site. You know, it's, it's not what you want your children to be around, or it's not what I would want my children to be around. Mm -hmm. Many yeah. times you get random friend requests yeah. as well, just, just from random do, people. Do, do, you, do, you, do you feel angry with us for uh, what, what no. we've exposed? I, I don't feel angry that it's been exposed, but I feel angry as in the way it was exposed. Like, it's obvious there has been a problem for a very long time now, but it was very... Um, 
it could have been exposed a long time ago. And it I hasn't think you are a bit angry, aren't you? Yeah, in my first video, of course, like when someone hears something they don't like, of course they're going to be angry to start with until they've heard all the facts. It was just this very negative report showing all these negative ideas, didn't show any of the positives. Yeah. But there are some positives. Should they be using that as a company to try and uh, attract young children? They know that kids are emotionally attached to this website and they're using that as a business proposition and young people put their faith into the site and they possibly, you know, uh, you know, reveal images to each other or whatever and that can be led are used against them and do you think that should be happening or to, you know with with kids I well think. look um, we've talked to lots of people around the world and I mean one of the things we, everybody says is they get a life in the Haber Hotel that they don't manage to get in the real world yeah. 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 Let, let, let's yeah. hear from Jess I feel like the way that the reporters went about getting their information made the report very biased because it honestly doesn't show any positive aspect of our wonderful community it's a chance for people who aren't normally very social to be able to socialize with people who accept them and can't judge them based on their appearance or status. Emily, is it, is it a wonderful community? Um, when I, I last year, I used to use, I used the I used the site quite a lot, and but in the past, when I um, was a lot younger, I was a lot more interactive with uh, with it, and it was, and I would say it still is a very good community because of our like. Uh, and but what are you what are you getting on it, Josie, that you don't get in real life? Um, for me as a person, when I joined it when I was um, eleven, I was a very self conscious girl who didn't get along didn't feel like she was understood by a lot of my friends, not through their fault, it's just I, w I am different to many people I'm in many ways, but I had... We're all different. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I didn't feel like I could communicate with them, like I was a very upset person at the time, I had a lot of issues. I couldn't tell them my issues because no one, I felt like no one would understand Are you a better them. person for having Definitely. been... Definitely. I've got, I've got confidence, you know, I'm happier in myself. I made a best friend who Do I've you think met. A best, a best friend who you've met in the flesh? Yeah, I've met, I've met, I think, five or six people from Habbo in real life. What about... A sexual relationship with anybody? Um, well, yeah, I, I dated um, someone for eight months, and that was that was a challenging eight months because of the different, uh, the distance rather. But it was but you, also you, you met her physically. And yeah, I met her in real life. I met her. About, had a real um, relationship. Yeah, with I had a real relationship. Why are kids with her? using Habbo as a dating website? Like adults would use a, do a dating website. Well, that's the what, thing. Why, why, why are you using yeah, Habbo? Um, it doesn't it is happen because it's aimed at younger people. I would say the younger people who have. Um, don't really know who to speak to about these uh, experiences that they're having about their sexuality, go on this website. I mean, do you think perhaps in a virtual sense you were sexualized before you ever would have been in real no, life? No, because for, for me personally, I know it's different with different children who aren't perhaps not as responsible but didn't react in the same way as me. I, if someone approached me I didn't feel comfortable, I'd block and delete them. The, the facilities are there to block and delete people but who you don't want to talk to. But it should be prevented before it gets to that point. You've got, I've met lots of people through um, Habbo or whatever, um, whatever else people are doing who have been the victim of giving their pictures to somebody even of the same age as them. It doesn't have to be a pervert necessarily. Mm -hmm. They've given pictures of themselves and they've used it against them later on to cyberbully them. And when you're trying to report that to moderators, you just get back a standard response. You can't sum up all of the issues to moderators However, and I've they should have got to it before it happened. You've had the response. I've yeah. had a good yeah. response. Emily. I've, I've been, I've, Emily. Um, I've reported many, many people whilst using the site because I have a popular, I used to have a popular game, gaming room and there mm. would be offensive language, uh, offensive behaviour, sexual behaviour happening in my room before my very eyes. All I can do is kick them, I report them and nothing gets done. You became physically active sexually after you'd been sexualized on um, the first time I was ever approached by somebody on the Habbo Hotel who was had a sexual intent was when I was 13 and this boy said come to my room and so I followed him and we were alone in his online room and um, he said he was 14 15 years old and then he started asking but up until that point he'd been completely normal nothing uh, in, nothing bad nothing suspicious and this was the very very first time I'd ever experienced anything like this mm. I wasn't even aware, really sure what sex was at this point and he said um, are you a virgin and I said yes and he said I'm, I said I'm only 13 I'm a virgin and he said I'm gonna take your virginity I remember it very 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 well because my heart was racing I was panicking I didn't know what to do but, but do you think that's the moment at which you started that to become is interested the moment, in sex in definitely, the real world because like I pointed out before um, I carried on using the site obviously till up until now and at the time that was the time I ever really went oh mm. what you yeah, know what sex I just, I just want to bring in Ryan from Northern Ireland because he has an interesting and relevant point let's say that 
you know, a child is walking down the street and somebody approaches them and says, um, hey, I want to see your undress or, you know, something like that. Well, is that right? Well, no, it's not. Of course that's not right. Because moderators are essentially invisible, it just sort of breeds this um, this sort of thought that, that kids can basically get away with whatever they want. Well, that, that's a really important point, Amber. I mean, somebody goes down a street and asks a child to un undress, even if they are themselves. That's crazy, I mean, yeah. but that, that is what happens on habit. You could do it in real life, could you? So why should yeah. you be able to do it? In Aren't you worried about that? I am worried about it, but being on habit... Like, but you're angry with us for exposing it. Yeah, oh, that's the thing. Like, I'm very kind of... I'm glad that you did expose it because it's now given the moderators a kick up the butt to basically do this. But they should have this. done it a long yeah. time ago. And they should have done, it, have done time it a long time ago, but at the same time, Habo isn't all that bad, and that's what I think that, that is, hasn't yeah, that been shown. That is the point. This is about the whole of the internet. Yes. Do you, in some way, want the internet regulated so that all of this... There's only so much any website anywhere can do to moderate these things completely. I mean, Habo has done things that's actively. That's because the owners can do anything they want. That's the thing, and that's what... That's what I get a bit annoyed about when I see Habbo.com. The, the, the owners of it, the people who have been on Habbo, they go on Habbo, they know what goes on in Habbo, yet they've only decided to take decisive action. Well, that's exactly what I, what I felt about all of you, that you've been on for years. Where, where, where do we go from here, then? And we expose this particular website. You're saying, well, there's lots of places like this on the web, and you can't regulate the web anyway. It's definitely not Isn't this stealing your innocence? Isn't this, you know, you're having experiences in the Habbo Hotel, which... Me, at 15, I mean, I can't imagine. But if you think about the other media children are exposed to, you know, through films, through advertising even, there but are many other things in life. Like yeah, but films so do, so films do films, so have rating. Efforts. You know what you're going into. But so you know it's going to be an either a 15 or a, you know, whatever. You're told when you should go yeah. in. You, are told, you aren't set, you know. Yeah, it's you're not given rules and regulations yeah. for a reason. No, but they don't, but they don't this is pitched at 13-year-olds, so that's surely not acceptable. I mean, the phone are sitting here, and we're proof that there are older people using the site. I want to ask you a final question, because you must know people who are not on how in real life. Yeah. How do you think Habbo sets you apart from them? Do you think you're having experiences which give you something else in life that they haven't got? Perhaps not. But for me, certainly, it wasn't to get something they haven't got. It was to gain what they had. Through the confidence I've gained and through the social skills I've gained, I can now talk to people. Yeah. How long do you think you'll be before when you stop? Or will you, will you live on, ha well, have a room in a habit well, for the rest of your life? I would love to answer that question. I'm 20 years old. I've been using it since 13. I'm reaching the point where I go, am I a bit old for using the site when there are young people using it? Because I, as a mother, was, wouldn't be sure if I would be happy about knowing my 13-year-old child talking to someone who's 20 years old. Even though 20 is not old, I don't want to feel old, but <laughs> no. so I'm the worst. Well, I'd, I'd just <laughs> like to thank you all very, very, very much for coming in. Thanks so much.